Okay guys, here we have the uh, hydraulic crimping swage tool. As you can see, it comes with its own case. Um, included is a range of dies, which are suited to numerous types of our fittings. Um, this fittings here, these are it's a eight mil rigging screw for four mil wire balustrade. Um, this is a swage stud sort of thing. This this tool will be uh, swaging, swage eye, and a swage jaw. All right, let's have a quick close up of the tool. Two handed. Just take this pin out, load your dies in, put the pin back in, turn it to on, start pumping, turn it to off once you've got your swage just to release the, uh, the pressure. So what we're going to do now, we've got some 4mm 1x19 balustrade cable and a 4mm swage jaw. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a quick swage on this one end just so you can see how easy it is. So what we're going to do, turn the tool to on, make sure that's on, put it on its side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the jaw in there, swage jaw with the wire. And then what we're going to do, we're going to start pumping and you will see this ram there starts pumping starts closing up the fitting just keep pumping nice and steady put a bit of pressure on now and then what we're going to do is we're going to release the pressure turn it to off as you can see the pressure just drops right down and then we're going to take the fitting out as you can see, that's got the night there nice. Just crimp it just five or six mil up from the bottom, just above the taper there. And uh, as you can see, that's not going to go anywhere. Just do a, obviously a quick pull test. That's fine. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to do the other end. So we'll just just do one more for you. Obviously, if you are a bit frayed at the end, just twist it back in right hand overlay. Make sure once again the wire ropes all the way to the end of your swage fitting. Make sure the the wheels turned back over to on. And uh, pretty much the same again. Line it all up. Bit of a tip, might want to just line it up with the one hand hold it there. Just until you get it touched together once you've got it in place. Make sure it's all good to go. Just apply a little bit more pressure, keep going. Yeah, just nice and steady. You don't want to press it too hard because obviously you don't want to distort the body too much. And there we go again. That's the uh, sway joint. Just give that a quick pull. Yeah, and that's perfect. So we've got sway jaw being hydraulically crimp there and then up to the other end the sway joy and it's as simple as that really obviously you don't want to leave too much of an impression in the body but just enough to grab it and that's the 4 mil wire 119 with a 4 mil sway joy and the 4 mil sway jaw and the die we used on that occasion was the uh, 16 mil die if you're going to use any other bigger sizes just jump up to the next die and that's it guys it's as simple as that